Hi guys, Megan here from Megan B Plans It All. And um, today I have a, a plan with me that is going to mainly go in my seven by nine hourly plum paper. But uh, what I've been doing lately is using leftover stickers um, from my weekly spread in my daily. Um, I do have a couple of daily kits, but I do realize that that's gonna probably get really expensive. Um, and also I mostly functionally plan in here. And then after the week is over, sometimes I go back and fill in some, some stickers. Uh, but this one is actually special because this is actually part of a collab. So it's uh, JoJo Collab Week 2021. So this is the final week of July. So I am going to be using all these uh, sticker sheets from the uh, sponsor, I guess the sticker shops that have sponsored uh, this event. Event, I guess that's what you'd call it. <laughs> um, so I will, I will go through all these sticker sheets and um, so you know exactly what I'm working with. I have absolutely no idea yet what I am going to do. So uh, definitely stay tuned and see what happens. All right, uh, so I did also just want to let you know that the purpose of this collab is that on July 30th, all proceeds from this I keep wanting to call it an event. I don't know. Is it an event? This collab? <laughs> the um, All the proceeds will be donated to Educational Welfare for National Support Public Education Day, which is July 30th. Um, so that is also really awesome. So firstly, I'm going to go through what I have here. And then once I do that, I'm going to probably just fast forward and do um, a voiceover for the rest of it. Cause again, like I said, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So I'm awkward enough as it is doing plan with me and in real life, I tend to just say stuff and I uh, don't want you to have to listen to my fumbles and watch me as I stare at stickers and have no idea what to do. Cause like I said, I, I mean, I haven't even looked at this yet. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to, you know, have an experimental day. So bear with me and let's let's take a look at what I have. All right. So from Rhinosaurus, I have some um, washi sample. And also bear with me if I say any of these wrong which is going to be super embarrassing for me. And I feel like I have to fix my camera because it refuses to stay in the holder. Hold on. I feel like it's just slowly going back to where it was. Or maybe it's even, I don't know. All right, I don't know. I wanna know how people keep their cameras straight or even have them straight in the first place. All right, um, I have these stickers, which Honestly, I don't know whose stickers they are because there's no name on the sticker sheet, unfortunately. And I have 15 Pro. Very cute little girls with ears. XO Mama Plans. Okay, go a little faster. Stuck on Creations. Nice little uh, die cut. Another little girl. Savannah Paper. Andy Designs. The Giving Girl. Shop with Anna or Anais. Mirage goodies. This is Aquas Creation. Paper K. 
create with pen, paper shire, and then uh, Jojo Complans, who is the coordinator of all of this. Uh, when you signed up for this collab, you got your own little collab sheet. Let's see, it has my name down at the bottom. And here's just um, rose gold. Time to garden dinosaurs. Hmm. QTP, QTP shop. Stuck on creations again, some rainbows. Craft delicious loves. And there's a whole bunch of these. It's like it's an entire kit, which is they're very cute. Wonton in a million. And then um, some paper, paper dashboard, I guess you would call it. All right, so now that it took me four minutes to just go through stickers, hence another reason why I uh, am gonna fast forward through the rest of this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to slice it here and fast forward through the chaos that's probably about to ensue as I try to do this. Oh, one more thing. I do have my work schedule. Um, I don't think I'll need a washi cutter, but I do I do have this from some little things. I'm obsessed with this. Um, and I do have two pens here. Um, one of them is an Energel, and then this one is a Kokio, Kokio Me. I got both of these from um, Avant Agenda. And just this little uh, tweezer that has little safety edges on it because I'm so bad at putting things away and this will hurt less when my daughter jabs it into my arm. All right, now I'll fast forward.
All right, guys, back in real time. Uh, so this <laughs> unsped up took me about 50 minutes. So hopefully I'm able to shave that down to a lot less. But I think it came out pretty good. I tried to use um, a little bit from all the shops and I will definitely uh, put the names of all the shops down in the description below so you can check them out. Uh, but I also have something else I'd like to show you. And that is a brand new planner. Well, at least brand new to me. Um, it looks like it is pretty new to the world as well. I guess I should show you the box that it came in. So this company, Dare Planner, reached out to me and asked if I would um, like one of their planners so that I can show it to you guys. And even more exciting is that I get to do a giveaway. So one of you lucky people um, can, could also have one as well. And that will be over on my Instagram. Hopefully by the time this goes up, that will also be going up. Let's see if I can coordinate that. Um, but I wanted to show you the box because I like it. It is simple and clean and professional. It's very nice and I like the, the shimmer. Uh, so this particular planner comes in a few different colors. It comes in this pink color. It's kind of salmon-y. It's kind of like a canvas, canvas uh, material. Um, it also comes in a turquoise type color and then in uh, a black uh, leather like cover. So this one retails for $29.99 and the black pea leather one come up retails for $34.99. So those are the specifics. <laughs> so let's uh, dive right in. So first off the bat, you can see that there are two bookmarks. And the reason for that, or the reason I'd like to think it is, is because this is an undated planner where the months are in the front. Uh, usually with undated planner, planners, if I'm using just the daily pages, I don't typically use these, um, but you can either, you know, put this here and then put the other one where you are um, in the weeks and the months, three months, the, the dailies, 13 weeks worth of dailies. So again, about three months. And in the beginning, it starts off as most planners do um, with the who you are. And then it goes into kind of details about the planner and um, an area to write out your goals, to break them down. And here we have a, a vision board. So obviously your creativity, however you want to use that. And here is a priority matrix. Uh, so you can sort out the different tasks. It does say over here that are on the vision board, um, but it could just be your, da your, your daily tasks, put them all in here in terms of importance and urgent. Uh, the thing that I, I always find needs to be very interesting because you're going to find a lot of things that come across your plate that are not important and not urgent and you end up right in here spending a lot of time. So this is definitely a, a thing, an interesting practice to do and something to look into further if, if you are interested in that. And it will repeat that, um, re repeats it twice. So you have two, two sections to, to uh, play with here. Um, and then here we go into the three months. Something that I find very interesting, very cool is the, this habit tracker, monthly habit tracker which might actually be a reason why I would use uh, this undated uh, monthly calendar. So here we go is three. And here we go, you can um, outline what your rituals might be, morning, workday, evening. And then we have three months worth of one line a day. And then here we go right into the daily pages. Uh, so you see here right in the beginning, right in the top of the, the time times over here, you can have, check off your morning routine, your evening routine, and here are some uh, maybe goals that you might want to, to keep track of. So movement habit tracker. It says mini mindset snack. 
I'm not sure what that is, um, but I like the sound of it. Um, here's today's focus, some work check checklists, some personal, and then here we have notes. And we're going to have a week's worth of dailies, followed by a recap of the week and an overview of the upcoming week, as well as an overview of the schedule, personal work. And we're gonna repeat this 13 times. So I'll just kind of go through the pages really quickly. Um, I will point out that the pages are, uh, according to the website, 120 GSM. I can see through it. So I don't know, I mean, that's not gonna bother me. Um, it could bother some. I have not done a pen test, so I don't know how much it will bleed through to each side. Um, but the paper, the paper feels, you know, heavier than, um, regular computer paper. So that's, that's always good. Um, so I believe we're just gonna get the same thing over and over again, again, undated. And then when we get to the very end, we have a couple of notes pages, a couple of brainstorming uh, dot grid pages, an index. Interesting that it's at the back and it's a list of to-dos for the next quarter of your life. Uh, and here's a, a pocket in the back and an elastic band to keep it shut. So again, I'm going to do, uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway so someone can pick their very own. Um, details will be on Instagram. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope... Um, you guys are intrigued by this planner. Again, uh, Dare Planner gave this to me for free um, so that I could give you guys a first look at it and again, to do a giveaway. So thank you very much, Dare Planner. I look forward to getting into this. I like that it's undated, so that means I can start and stop whenever I'd like. And uh, yeah, so please like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel, especially if you liked this. Um, and yeah. All right. Peace and cookies. Bye.